Hey, what's up guys? This is Brandon Lee with Virtualization How To. Wanted to talk about a topic that many of us get excited about, we uh, really look forward to, and that is the next version of Windows, Microsoft Windows. Now, as most of us are aware, the latest version of Microsoft Windows Server is currently Windows Server 2019. Now, you may have been wondering, what is the next Windows Server release? Well, Microsoft has uh, left nothing to the imagination. If you have a Windows Server Insider Preview login, which those are free to sign up to, and I will post in the description a link to how you can find the Windows Insider Preview uh, website and downloads and a quick Google can get you there as well, but maybe I could save you a couple of clicks and a little bit of typing to search. So Windows Insider Preview is the website that, much like the Insider Preview uh, website, you can uh, gain access to for the next client operating system preview builds. Uh, Windows Server previews are just that. They allow you to see the upcoming releases of Windows Server. Now, as I mentioned, Microsoft has not left anything to the imagination on the next version of Windows Server. And the reason we say that, if you have a Windows Insider Preview Downloads login, you can go here and you will see the next version of Microsoft Windows Server is Windows Server 2022. Now, in this video, I'm going to uh, show you the install, or at least the first screens of the install of Windows Server 2022, uh, how you can download that, and we're going to cover that uh, uh, in just a couple of minutes. And I want to just detail a couple of things here with the server previews that you have access to when you have a login to the Insider Previews Build website. Now you will see the Windows Server 2022 uh, preview ISO. Uh, currently it's at build 2295. So that's the current build. Uh, if you check back in a few weeks, that will be incremented, no doubt. So you can download the ISO. You can also download the VHDX file, which is uh, for Hyper-V virtualization or if you're running Hyper-V on your Windows 10 workstation, you can download that VHDX file and import that to a Hyper-V virtual machine just directly, natively. Now also there are the uh, feature on demand uh, preview and language pack that you can download. The feature on demand is really, really cool functionality because it allows you to take a Windows Server core installation and basically add features on demand as the uh, name of the product intuitively describes there. You can add these packages to your Windows Server core installation and in essence grab those features and functionality that you may need to run a specific application or run a, spe a specific uh, Windows feature that you uh, want to house on Windows Server Core. So really uh, cool functionality there. And then finally is Windows Admin Center Preview. Now I have a fairly extensive blog post covering Windows Admin Center Preview Build 2012. And uh, I'm assuming here if Microsoft is following how so many are following this new naming convention. I know VMware uh, horizon as uh, covering this same type of build number uh, nomenclature. Uh, I'm assuming this is um, the month of December and 2020. So you can see how uh, the latest preview is kind of following this uh, new build nomenclature. Windows Admin Center Preview. So if in case you're not aware of Windows Center Admin Preview or Windows, Windows Center Admin in general, it is basically Microsoft's next generation server management platform. We've all been used to uh, the classic, the traditional uh, server manager uh, utility that's built into 
you know, everything from Windows Server 2012, 2012 R2, 2016, uh, now 2019 also still has the server manager uh, management console. But now released in tandem with Windows Server 2019, Windows Admin Center is a next generation management dashboard that is web driven, uh, very much takes server management to the next level. So that is a high level overview of what you see when you go and gain access to the insider preview downloads website so you in essence you will select the build uh, and the file that you want so in this case i'm going to download the iso you will confirm that and next a little bit misleading at first you think wow where is my download but you have to select the language so here I'm going to choose English and you confirm this again now you get a download link so we see Windows Server vNext LTSC and that is the long-term servicing channel preview and build 2295, we're downloading the English version. So I'm gonna download this, kick off the download, and I will see you back when we start the install of Windows Server 2022. All right, we are back. We have downloaded the Windows Server 2022 ISO file, and what you haven't seen in the video is I uploaded the ISO file to my vSphere data store. So that has been done. So now uh, we are simply going to create a new virtual machine. Uh, we're going to say create a new virtual machine on the new virtual machine wizard. And we're just going to name this WinServer 2022 uh, data center. And we're going to choose my standalone host in the lab. We're going to choose the data store for this specific host. Uh, ESXi 7 U1 compatibility. Now, vSphere and other hypervisors, of course, have not updated to include Windows Server 2022 as an option. However, uh, Windows Server 2019 will work just fine uh, for testing out this insider preview. So that's what I want to select here. I'm going to click Next. Now, on the customized hardware screen, I am going to make sure that I have my network configured, connected to the port group that I can connect to uh, that's going to allow me to have access to this virtual machine. And then notice on the new CD DVD drive, we want to select data store ISO file. And this will allow us to choose the Windows Server 2022 uh, Insider Preview uh, image. And if you notice that I had the 285 uh, ISO updated or uploaded, uh, but since I have downloaded the 295, which is newer, that's what we're going to select. I'm going to click OK. Uh, connected it power on. Hit next. And quickly just do a once over. And we're going to select finish. Now, what this will do is it will create our Windows Server 2022 uh, virtual machine. So now what we're going to, to do is we will open up a uh, virtual machine console. So let me drag that over. Uh, yes, we'll update later. So now we're going to simply power on the virtual machine. Uh, we want to boot from the ISO image. So just be ready with the enter key or some other key when you uh, power on the virtual machine because it's going to say, hey, hit a button if you want to uh, select the ISO for boot. And here we go. We've got uh, Windows Server 2022 listed. We're going to select Next, Install Now. And 
For the most part, everything looks identical to Windows Server 2019. And that's what we expect at this point. Uh, basically, we're going to expect to see that the uh, install screens and everything else are basically the same uh, as Windows Server 2019. Now, uh, here we're just going to be prompted for a product key. We're just going to say, I don't have a product key. This should allow us to evaluate. Uh, we're going to select data center desktop experience so we can see uh, the latest and greatest, the uh, full set of uh, features with data center. We're going to accept the EULA, select custom, select our drive space allocated, which by default it selects 90 uh, gigs for uh, Windows Server 2019. We're going to click next and the install process begins. So what I'm gonna do is pause the video and allow this to complete and then we will uh, wrap up uh, just taking a look around in the operating system. All right guys, I am back and we have a fully installed Windows Server 2022 that just booted and it's asking for the initial administrator password which we are going to populate and there you have it. The server is booted and initial administrator password configured. We're just gonna log in and make sure we can log into the server. And that's what's really nice about the VNext previews is they, they help to give you an idea of the direction Microsoft is headed in the next release of the operating system. And something that I found a bit amusing, uh, if this still holds true, this means that Server Manager is making it as well into Windows Server 2022. Now, I know this is super early, so they very well could remove Server Manager uh, between now and a GA release of 2022. Um, but it's just interesting to see that potentially this server management um, dashboard tool that we have used now for years uh, could be in Windows Server 2022. But there you have it. Uh, We've got Microsoft Windows Server 2022 version 21H2 OS build 2295 and we've selected Windows Server 2022 data center uh, and of course the desktop installation. So hope you enjoyed the video as we know more and as these VNext previews play out uh, look for more videos on the channel. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely be following that closely to uh, detail functionality, capabilities, and uh, all the latest and greatest things that we find out with uh, Windows Server 2022. Well, until next time, guys, uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, tune back in for more virtualization how-to uh, technical videos. Thanks, guys.